All right, well, thanks for coming in. So you came back, you, you come in with some lower back issue. Can you tell me where the pain is and how is how was the pattern and how is it affecting your life? Okay, uh, let me make a verification. <clears throat> uh -huh. uh, I understand this uh, initially is uh, surgery for uh, lower back uh, surgery back to 2014, mm -hmm. no, 2015. Mm -hmm. It's between L, lumbar L4 and L5, right. okay. which is suggested by Dr. Onin Bukon. Okay. Even he found that there is a between L3 and L4 also deteriorating. Right. Okay. But he said, don't touch because he's very conservative, he said. But this time came here because in my right side, in sore muscle, which I learned this term from watching many uh, video and uh, YouTube, and this muscle uh, look like reported very important, and which the uh, my pain, the the, the, the case look like a very match the doctor talk this one. Okay. So this time I can actually maybe you find my spine problem this other story, but I just want to stop my pain of uh, right side uh, muscle in portion of uh, uh, the called uh, sore, sore uh, muscle. Sore muscle. Yeah. Okay. You can see, right? Okay. So I'm just going to mark it all some stuff. So this is 2015. That's when you first had it. All right. And this is 2016. August. August. Right. So basically what we're looking at over here. My, my surgery is August. August 10, 2015. Yeah, right, 2015. Yeah. yeah. So this is September 2nd, 2015. Yes, because this is one to follow. Right. All right. So what are we looking at over here? So this is your lower back. Mm -hmm. And then lower back, and there should be five bones, right? So you have five, four, three, two, one. And this one is the sacrum, which is a, what you sit up most of the time. So what they have done was that they put a screw right here between four and five. And then in addition to that, they also put an artificial disc over here to help you to stabilize yes. that, right. right? And the purpose is because we wanted to make sure that they don't collapse. Because if they collapse, then this hole over here, see, I'm just gonna outline this guy over here. This is where the nerves come out, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So if they collapse, then your nerves gonna be pinched and that's where the problem really kind of escalate, escalate in that way. So that's why they stabilize the bones over here and they put the artificial disc over here to try, try to keep everything intact. I think they did a decent job over here. I mean, it looks like they're in a pretty good, pretty good space for that. But every time when you have an operation, you change the, the normal biomechanics about how your spine should move. Okay, because when you start to change one thing, other things start to change. Okay, so if you stabilize this two over here, that means that the bones above and the below will start to move more to help you to adapt what's happened to your spine. Right? So we're not really going to be able to adjust anything over here because it's being fixed. Right? But now we need to take a look at what's happening with the bones above and the below. Okay? So over here, you already have some degeneration around L3 because what I mean by that, you see how the joint space like this this is really opening the front and then like really thinning the back, right? So that means that the joints has already been grinding down. So we already have some degeneration over here. This one is getting there. It's also moving a little bit because what I mean by that is that if I if I put the bone right there, if I draw the line right there and run it right there, you see how this is not one smooth line, but it's like a little bit of step, like defect like that. Okay, so that means that the bone has also moved as well. So things are already changing right after you had the operation. Okay, now let's take a look at this guy now. So this is August 16, so this is almost a year later. So what we see over here now, you see how the joint space is becoming more thinner compared to this guy. You see how this one, we can still see some joint space, but this one joint space is definitely thinner now, right over here. So that means that you have more degeneration, more grinding up there. Now, in addition to that, you see how this bone, this is the number two of your lower back. 
We still have some space over here even though the line doesn't line out. But you see how this is almost touching the deck now. So things are definitely grinding down very fast with that. Okay. Um, as a chiropractor, when we see that, we see that's a problem. But is that the root cause of what you're feeling right now? That might not be the case because I think your problem is coming out from somewhere else. It's actually more so down here. That's what I'm thinking. The reason that you have the right hip pin is coming out from this guy over here. Okay, so what I say that now, this is your lower back looking from behind, right? This is your pelvis, and this is your left side, and this is your right side. So what I'm looking for is I'm looking to see if the left side and the right side, if they're balanced or if they're level or not. We have done the calculation, which I'll show you in the next picture to show they're off. When it's off, because your pelvis can move in all directions, right? But when it's off, kind of stuck in one side, it's going to create discomfort. Makes you unable to sit for a long time, okay? So that's what I'm thinking. I think if you have some stuff going on over here, but I think one of the major issues coming out from here that we're gonna take a look. So this is a okay. full spine what it looks like, right? So we're just gonna take a look at the calculation over here. Now, based on the way we analyze your x-rays, your right hip, because your hip can go up, down, in and out, and also the combination of each direction like this, okay? So what's happening over here is that your right hip over here, he has moved up and out this way and it kind of stuck in there when you're stuck in there then it's going to create discomfort when you sit it down so i think this is what's causing your right hip pain. so this is where i'm going to start if i'm going to do anything with that i'm going to bring back it back down and inwards and i wanted to see how you respond with that adjustment okay cool so here's what we're going to do every time you come in okay yep. i'm going to I'm gonna scan your back every single time you come in. Okay. So I can understand what your spine and your nerves are telling me on that day. Okay. And once I scan it, I'm gonna mark it. I'm gonna do examination. I'm gonna look at the x-ray and I'm gonna also adjust you. Right? Adjustment is the last part. Adjustment is relatively fast, about a couple of minutes. Okay, but the analysis and also the examination takes longer. Alright, so each session can last somewhere about 20, 15, 20, 30 minutes, depends on how many we need to do. Okay? Alright, so you ready? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and scan your back first, okay? Here we go. So I'm just trying to see what your spine and your nerves are telling me today. Alright, we'll go all the way down. So we definitely get a lot of actions towards the end of your spine right here. <clears throat> so this is a, a dual probe device to help me to understand the nerve, the temperature of your nerves. Because when your spine is misaligned, it will irritate the nerve, right? And that temperature is going to go up because of inflammation. And this will tell me where the problematic area are. Oh, I get more examination. Okay. So we've got some stuff going over here in the knee back. So starting here, we'll get a lot of actions. Well, part of the reason is because the metal in there. And then also inflammation and degeneration, right? But what I'm really interested in is also here. I'm gonna take a look at that, but we definitely get some stuff going on right here. Alright. Let's take a look at your neck. Oh, 
Go ahead, hold on to this for you. Uh, use the left hand will be better. Yeah, just like that. That's good right there. <coughs> just take a look. That's where the operation is, L4, L5 area. <clears throat> Got a big jump right there. Okay. All right, Claude, well, that's good, thank you. So the next part is I'm going to move it around just to feel how your bones are moving. Mm -hmm. If they're stuck, that means that it's a problem. Mm -hmm. We need to adjust that. Mm -hmm. okay. Alright, so I'm going to start with this guy over here. I'm going to take a look at your seat. Okay, just relax for me. Okay. So what I'm feeling for is I want to see if your sacrum is moving forward on it when you do the side man on this side. That's moving a little bit there. It's not like that. So that's moving okay right there. Okay. Any pain when I do that? Yes. Yeah, okay. How about this side right there? Yes. That too as well. Again, how about down here? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So the whole joint is pain. Right. Compared to the left side? Uh, I've reduced. Reduced less. Yeah, still here. Here still will influence by this portion. Okay. But you feel the more here. Yeah, right. Okay. Alright. Go ahead and move forward a little bit for me. So what I want you to do is I want you to put your feet and knee together like that. And when I say open, open your knees only like this for me. Yeah. Okay. okay. <coughs> right, sit up straight. Okay. I can feel this side is definitely more puffier. This is probably swollen right here. Mm -hmm. That's why it's causing me a lot of pain. Mm -hmm. All right. So what I want you to do is go ahead, open your knees and close. Open and close. And just keep doing that for me, Pa. Yeah, there you go. Just keep doing that. All right. So there's, there's a restriction on the right side over here when you're doing that. Right there, that's sore, huh? Yeah. Okay, that's good for that. Okay? Yeah, as I expected, a lot of stuff is coming out from your pelvis. Okay? Yeah, we get it. There's a problem over here. But we need to get your pelvis better first. That's the foundation of everything. So today, that's what I'm going to adjust. I'm going to pelvis. I'm going to show you what is I'm going to do exactly on the model. So you can have a better understanding. Alright, so this is what we're going to do. What am I going to do for you? Okay, so your spine we're looking from on back. This is the back of your spine. This is the sacrum, okay? And this is your hip bone, okay? So what I've been testing is this joint over here, mm -hmm. okay? Between your sacrum and your hip over here. Mm -hmm. Now, what happened to your hip is that this hip over here, instead of here, it has shifted outside this way. So that's why what I meant when I push what we call the palpate, when I palpate it, it hurts over here. And then in addition, when you move, when you open and close your knees, this one is more restricted compared to this guy. All right, so what I wanted to do is I'm gonna go ahead, have you lay on the side, I'm gonna grab this one, I'm gonna set inwards like this, push back in for you, okay? And we, this is the only adjustment I'm going to do today. I'm not going to do anything else. And I want to see how by doing this will affect the rest of your muscle and your nerves. And that's why you're going to come back on Wednesday and then we're going to take a, take a look at that again. That's okay. it. Okay. I'm going to move your butt back forward a little right there. That's good. All right. So we're in good position. All right. So what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to come in from behind. Okay. And down. 
So I'm gonna have you to lift out your hip for me in the air if you can do that. So lift up. Lift up which hip? No, you're okay now. Actually, I got it. So what I want you to do is I'm gonna come over here. We will do sudden movement. Right. Yes. Oh, this is gonna be a force. Very scary. But I'm gonna walk you through first, right? Okay. okay I'm come over here. Right. And come over here. And we're gonna go a set like that. Okay. I'm gonna set like that. Okay. By doing that, then I can help you to shift the bones in your pelvis. Okay, you ready? Yeah. All right, good. So we're gonna do it in one time the action motion. Relax your shoulder, but put your hand right there. Relax right there. Let me get it. We're gonna do that one more time. Relax right there. No? Yeah. Yeah, on the side. Uh, facing you. Facing me. Yeah, very hard to find a location. Yeah. Because uh, really, really, this only I know. It, I do this a long time ago when I was in Hong Kong. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. But not about same place. It's a different. It's probably a. This is kind of these alignments that you don't see a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna see if I can use a different way to get that move better. Come for a little bit more. So I couldn't pull it, I'm gonna push it. Okay. It's okay, put your hand right there for me. That's better. Push it in just like that. Okay, let's see if we can get this thing to move. Relax your shoulder right there. Okay, you're not gonna fall. Try a moment. Trust me, you'll be I, okay. I trust you, but I don't. Where to put my hand? Just right here is good. I have to hold it myself. Yeah. Just gently put it over here. Okay. 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 All right. I'm gonna have you come on and walk a little bit forward. Give me some feedback after that adjustment. Okay. What's changed? Okay. Um, I try to describe it in detail of okay. my honest feeling. Okay. First of all, I, I don't know if it's a psychologically or it's a physical response. I feel relaxed a little bit. Okay. But uh, just I understand when sometimes do similar one, uh, you, I feel second, second side is a much touch to the location. Mm -hmm. uh, because the first one facing there doesn't touch the location of the pain. This one touched them at least close, but I didn't feel go to the center of the pain. Okay. But maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no, that's very good feedback. Because I couldn't get to the right place where I needed to be when you're laying on your right side. Uh -huh. That's why I have to flip over it. Uh -huh. To me, it's more precise that way. Then when I adjust it, I have to change the way to move that bone. Uh -huh. Okay, so that's why when I adjust it, on your right side up, I didn't use a lot of body weight to drop it, but it's a lot of just hand pushing. Because if I do that, then I can make the things work. If I drop on you with my body weight, you can make that misalignment worse. 
So there's a lot of hand quick motion with that. But with that, it's less force I can put in, you know. So for that, I'm gonna continue to work with you. It's gonna take a longer for me to get the set very, very good. But that's a really good point that we are on the right spot. Today we put a little motion in there that's gonna help to start the progress. But for your case, I need more time and this with you. Essentially, I'm gonna set that um, very, really good for you that way. Does that kind of make sense? Sure. Because yes. I have to change the way to adjust that. Yes. And then and it's just gonna take a long bit with that. Okay. Okay? So? Alright, sure. so keep walking a little bit. I'm gonna recheck you again. Okay? Alright. Walk well, open your knees and close. Let's keep doing that. Well, what do you feel? Because mm -hmm. what I'm feeling over here is that it's actually moving a little bit better. Uh, in this moment, I don't have any point to compare because I feel uh, at least a physical response is uh, you use less pressure than last time I'm sitting here. Well, but it may be used the same. But it's I'm actually the same. Better. Yeah, it's actually the same pressure. But you know what? Let's do this too as well, right? Go ahead, relax for me. Is that still painful? Well, I know it's still painful, but is that same, better, or worse? As far as the pain goes. Different. different. It's not on the same. Because uh, I feel the hint, the, the pain center is above your finger and or more right side and above of your finger mm. but it's a it's a it's a it's a, a still pain but it's a not very serious because i don't think this touched the center for example uh, this is about this about oh, it's my muscle yeah. i feel you did here not here it's the joints that we were in right so yeah let's try that one more time okay so this is the whole joint that we're, we're on right now. That's the joint I was talking about. <clears throat> so this is the top of the joint. <clears throat> this is the middle. <clears throat> and this is the lower. <clears throat> so what do you feel about that? <clears throat> it's the same It's the same place as I adjusted. I in the first before. time, right? Yeah. I feel better than first time. Okay. Because what we're doing over here is that we want it to be consistent with what we're testing. So it has to be on the same spot. <clears throat> so after the adjustments, the correction was made, okay? And even though it's not a huge splash of adjustments, it moved it. So you see, your body will start to heal better in this way. So I always tell patients this, that if someone dropped a rock on your foot, right, your foot is gonna hurt. But now I have removed the rock. At this moment, is your foot still gonna hurt? It will, right? But at least the rock is out of the way, so your foot can start to heal better. That's the whole purpose. We remove the rock over here, at least for now. Your, your, your joint is going to start to heal. But how long is, depends on how your body responds to your adjustments. Okay? So here's a whole work for you. Uh, what I want you to do is every time after adjustments, I need to walk for at least 10 to 20 minutes in the parking lot. That's the minimum. Okay. Sure. Then when you go home, I want you to put ice over here. Mm -hmm. I want you to put 20 minutes of ice, mm -hmm. and then you take it down for 40 minutes. Okay, and then you can repeat if you wanted to do that. Mm -hmm. okay. So I can go to buy the box, a bag of the ice, right? Yeah, or they they sell ice packs. Just put it in the fridge, and you can do that too as well. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Okay. So that's your homework for now. Okay. Okay. And then just make sure, just pay attention to the changes. I'm going to say when you come back, you're going to know him. Okay? All right? Any questions? No more questions. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, it's been a...